Welcome to the Cox Clan channel. So behind me is a Tesla. It's covered with a blanket. It is covered so that we can't see out of the windshield, the windows, or anything like that. You might be thinking, why would you want to do that? You have to see out of the windshield to be able to drive it, right? Not for today. If you look even farther behind us, it's kind of hard to see. There is an obstacle course of boxes. Behind us, we have made a huge obstacle course of boxes, cardboard boxes. It's kind of like a maze where we are going to be driving this Tesla through the maze blind. Let me kind of show you why we're doing this, what made us think of this crazy idea. Then we'll get to the video. So this is probably a situation that you are all familiar with. Driving a car that has no sensors around it, going in and out of these tight spaces can be a little bit tricky because you don't know how far away from stuff you are. But with a Tesla, because it has all the sensors around it, going in and out of those tight spaces is a little bit easier because of one cool feature that it has. The Tesla has sensors all around the entire car. The thing that makes these sensors different is that it will actually tell you in inches how far away you are from objects. Not only do these sensors make it safer to drive on the road, but when you're pulling in and out of the garage or a tight parking space at the grocery store, it will tell you in inches how far away you are from those cars, which is super nice and convenient. That is the thinking of today's video is we set up this huge cardboard maze and we're going to be driving through it, only looking at the screen on the inside of the car, looking at those inches to see how far away from the boxes we are, and then knowing where we need to turn to get through this maze. Okay, so she pulled up now to one of the edges of our giant maze and what's it say on the screen? I'm 12 inches away from that box. 12 inches away. So the easy thing would be to get out of the car, take a tape measure and measure the distance and see how accurate these sensors are and then boom, video over. But that's boring. We don't want to just do that. To test just how good these sensors are, we wanted to make it fun and enjoyable for all of you watching so that's why we built this giant maze. I am going to take this tape measure and measure it to see if it is exactly how big? 12. 12 inches away from this box. That's not bad. That's pretty dang close though. Yes. I think it's just close enough to where we will be able to navigate through the maze. Hopefully. So this is our maze. We start over here and our goal is to end up over here without hitting boxes. We have to go through this nasty S curve. You can see all the booby traps that we have set up. There's a couple 90 degree turns which makes it even harder and then we end right there. And then Riley is setting up the blanket just perfect so that we can't see out of any of these windows. Okay, she is completely covered. She can't see out of the windshield. She can't see out of this passenger window. She especially can't see out of her driver window. We aren't too concerned about the back here because the boxes are so low to the ground that she won't be able to see anything out of there anyways. It should all be ready and good to go. We've got the GoPros and cameras rolling. Here we go. Ready? Ready. We are in for a wild ride. Literally. <laughs> okay, this is I'm close to something. Show you guys, this is so hard. <laughs> I can't, I don't know where I'm going. I'm six inches to stop. Am I running over boxes? I'm trying to do this. This is too hard. Maybe I should cheat. What happened? It's too hard. It just always says stop. <laughs> it's freaking out at me. This is impossible. Well, this sucks. So we've got something dang close to this corner and that corner. One other thing that's making it difficult right now is how touchy it is. Oh my gosh, this is this. I'm actually like kind of tripping out. I feel dizzy. This is impossible. Mm -hmm. I think we made it too narrow. You're done. Wait, what? You're done. I finished? With lots of help. Goodness <laughs> gracious. That is impossible. What makes it hard is like how sensitive the pedal is. So I push it a little bit and I move a lot quicker than I need to. And so then the distance passes too quick and I've already hit a box. It is possible. I think the only thing that we did wrong is we made it too narrow. Okay, so overall. <clears throat> Moral of the story is do not try and drive a Tesla, or any car for that matter. Using just the sensors. Yes, it is very bad. It worked. 
Kind of. It really? Just, it's just too, it was too hard, like making the tight turns. Yeah, the tight like turns. Just the sensors. The tight turns is what got us. Yeah. The right? sensors are pretty accurate. That's what we were trying to go for. Yeah, I mean, Our we measured it and it was right on the money. Leave the sensors, let them do their thing when it comes to parking and pulling into the garage. That's pretty much what they are made for. They are not made to go through cardboard mazes. And when they say stop, you, you stop. stop. It was fun. We do have a big, huge mess to clean up now. But it was a fun video. We had a lot of fun making it. Thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. See, See you ya. next time.